Hello, all my dear Virgo friends. This is Maxine Taylor with your August 2024 forecast. Before I jump into that, I want to answer a few questions I've gotten. Uh, and uh, maybe you were one of them asking the question. Uh, first of all, we all know that Mercury is retrograde um, uh, on the 4th and 5th, right during that time. If you need more information on that, go to my astrological overview on my YouTube channel and you'll find a lot of helpful information in the um, overview that I did. Okay, that's number one. Number two, if you are ready for a reading from me, um, just go to my website and sign up for the one you would like. And now, the piece de résistance. Um, yes, I am going to be offering classes in astrology for those people who are interested in studying for the, just the information themselves and those people who want to become an astrologer. Um, we need really good astrologers. I've been studying astrology uh, since 1966. Uh-huh long time and I don't open you know uh read astrology books now the way I did years and years ago but I'm always reading something that I find very interesting um I have over 50 years of astrological experience I want to share it with those of you who are ready uh and be prepared to laugh in class. We have a great time. So um, I'll be back on that one. I'm also mentoring people once again. You may know that last before COVID, I mentored people. And that meant, means I taught them astrology based on their chart and only their chart or their family's charts, I, I should say. It's a face-to-face one-on-one session so that you're not in a classroom situation with other people, we're focused on you. If either of those um, really pull, pull at you and, and you want more, just go to my website. My contact information is there. Leave your contact information and we'll talk and, and I'll, I'll see if, uh, if I can explain it in a way that is appealing to you. Because after all, if you're asking questions and you're a Virgo, you need details. Okay, now let's look at this glorious forecast. First of all, let's start with the 10th house. Um, this is your career house and everybody has a career. You may not be paid for it, but you have a career. If what you do is babysit every baby in your family, that's your career. And you love it, that's your career. Mars, the red planet, in your 10th house, says you're moving upward in your career. Not laterally, uh, right up there. Um, Mars is what we fight with and fight for. It becomes the center of our lives. Okay, and it's number one. So I would say this is a terrific month to move upward, but with Mercury retrograde, you don't want to change jobs. You don't want to start a new job, which is a new project, while Mercury is retrograde because it will fizzle out completely or have to be redone within the year. So plan is what I'm saying and get ready to move upward. If you are picking up the pieces of an older move upward that you're making now, go for it. Jupiter, the great benefic, is blessings, blessings galore, spiritual blessings, and yes, financial blessings. This is you as a leader. I love it. I love it. Um, so... If you're thinking of planning ahead 
and moving upward, this little as aspect right here, Mars and Jupiter in the 10th, will help you. Okay, let's look at the 12th house because that's the behind the scenes area. It's spirit, it's the spiritual world, the spirit world, literally. And when you have planets in the 12th house, you really want to be alone. Now, I'm, you're not a hermit because I, I got more to tell you. So let me start here. The yellow planet is the sun and that's the center of our life. It is the great healer. And in the 12th house, the center, the center of your life is basically nobody's business. Okay? So you pull back, you retreat, you and you, you will need solitude because of that 10th house that puts you uh, before the public, perhaps, because this is your public image of go-getter. I love it. So the sun is the center of your life. And you don't tell anybody what's going on. On the 22nd, the sun moves into your first house. And you are saying, I'm doing what I want, when I want, how I want, because I want. And you have prepared for this. And it's time to move forward. Okay. So the center of your life becomes you. Now, you might say, that sounds very selfish. Well, it sure doesn't have to be. Put yourself first. See how great it feels. Okay? Every year this happens. The sun is in the first house. Take advantage of it. Venus, the pink planet, is love and money and all things beautiful. Jupiter is the greater benefic. Venus is the lesser benefic. Uh, less good I doubt it. It's wonderful. Those are the two good guys. It shows that your love nature is very hidden and that your love life may be equally hidden. And it's nobody's business. That's the whole deal. It's nobody's business. On the fourth, Venus moves into your first house. Now, that is the, the day of the new moon and that's a day before mercury goes retrograde so it's a very important move forward venus is beauty venus is love venus is art um and with venus in your first house of the physical body you are able to love you this is beautiful and then on the 29th venus enters your second house of money Need I explain? It's gorgeous. Venus rules the second house of money in the natural zodiac. So plan for that now. Now Mercury, as we know, is retrograde or getting ready to go re retrograde. It's in the shadow of the retrograde and everybody's just wiped out. Mercury is in your first house. You've been thinking about yourself. You've been talking about yourself. On the fourth, Mercury moves back into the 12th house and says, go away, world. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to share anything with you. I just need my privacy. And as I mentioned, I think it's because your publicity is can be so all-consuming. It can be very positive is what I'm saying. All right, we have a new moon on the 4th, but it's behind the scenes. And this new moon says, I want to be alone. I've got to be alone. So do that, all right? And you're going to find, since Mercury is going to be going retrograde, you know, that right there, give yourself some solitude and privacy. Two weeks later, we have a full moon in um, 27 Aquarius on the 19th and it's in the sixth house of work health and service so everything comes to a head on the full moon and there you are doing for others being a servant which gosh 
I want to thank you on behalf of all the people you will be trying to help. Um, because if you, I'm sure I, I mentioned this at one point at least, when you explain something, you go through step one, step two, part A, part B, step three, and you give all the details. And frankly, if I'm looking for somebody to help me understand something, step by step, I want you. I want Virgo. Because you will not leave anything out. And because you are always driven by perfection. I just think you're outstanding. And I've always told my Virgo friends, memorize these words. Thank you. When somebody uh, compliments you, st thank them. Even though in your heart, you know you don't deserve it. I'm being facetious. You deserve it. And then some thank you for your service. 6,000 service. So there you have it, Virgo. Join me next month when once again, I take a look at your astrological forecast. Until then, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.